And I saw that this post right here, this is the Carbot animation. And this is the next thing I want to talk about and get into here because I know a lot of people want to see it. Is um, this got extremely popular. This has 26,000 updoodles. That's a lot. World of WoWcraft. November 23rd, 2024. That's a big dick day. This is me, Burning Crusade release. I didn't start then, I started a little bit before BC. Yep, that's me. Mom, can we get this? That's disc one of five. Happy. Loading in L14, he's a paladin. Running around. Beating the shit out of Augur. What up, bitch? Gonna do dead mines. Yep. 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 Dude, I made my guild, my first guild in, in, in Westfall too. I straight up made my first guild in Westfall. We call that fuck what you think. So it sounds phonetically like fuck what you think, you know? Real funny. And then there we are. Okay, we never made it to rag. We disbanded the guild like 10 days later. Beating the dick. Oh, Sulfurus. Yup. That's the only place you make it. Wait, whoa, whoa. Was that a guy proposing? Holy shit. Burning Crusade. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Back in the day, beating the dick off of Illidan. They got the summoning stone too. Oh, they're dead, yeah. It's harder than vanilla. Cataclysm. Uh-oh. It's not gonna show him his losing hair, right? Wait, that's not him, is it? Wait, what the hell is this? Oh, no. Wow. Hey, what the hell's going on? I like how they're stacked worse and worse every time, you know? Damn. There ain't nobody there. <laughs> Look at the tank. <laughs> okay. Wow! Look at all that money! We're making all that money! Anybody want to party, yeah? Then they kick you out for talking. What have I done with my life? Wow, classic. Yo, what up? What? Oh, shit. This is sad, man. This is fucking sad. Like, I think the saddest part about it is like whenever I, I think about my own experiences, you know what I mean? Like, this is exactly what I did, man. Like, whenever I started playing the game, I loaded in the L1 forest and I even made friends with a female mage. Like, that's what's so fucking nuts about this. Like, I was- I was in a paladin, I was a warrior. And we ended up doing dead mines together. No, it was a real girl. I, I, we- Yeah, it was-, it was we talked to her and on Ven. It was a real girl. She had a mic. And we made our guild charter then, too. That's what's so crazy about this. Is like... This is the same thing. Everybody buffing up. That's so cool, dude. Is this Ragnaros? This part seems- it reminds me of Among Us, you know? Sulfurus. I didn't make mine until way later. Dude, you were just so- you were just so happy. Alright, let me- see, I wanna see the- the actual- the- the UI there. Where is it? Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. I like how the guy obviously took like one of his old WoW screenshots and just added a filter onto it. That's actually so fucking cool to me. That makes it real, you know what I mean? It makes it real. I 
I remember BC came out. It was like it was everything that we had wanted it to be, you know? It was so good. It was so fucking good. I want to let you guys know. This right here is something that I was against ever since the beginning. $25 for the best mount in the game. It's fucking bullshit. Fucking best mount in the game. Fucking shit. I don't even care. I don't even fucking care. Like, I've been against storm mounts ever since the very fucking beginning. I've been fighting a one-man battle against Blizzard. It's been me against Blizzard for 10 years. And, it, it, yeah, I've, I've been I've been against it ever since the fucking beginning, man. And I've complained about it. And I remember, because, like, this shit came out. Like, obviously, this is the fox, right? But we're just going to assume that it's the Sparkle Pony. That shit came out in Wrath. And I was like, man, why don't they just make that drop from Algalon instead? Like, because that would have looked, because it looked just like Algalon's, uh, you know, his room. It looked like Algalon himself. So, like, why would they not do that? And I was just so fucking pissed off that you just spend real money for it. Uh, and honestly, I didn't like the TCG mounts either. I thought that was horse shit. Because people in my uh, my server had these really cool mounts. And it's like, what the fuck did you do to get that? You just spent real money. Who cares? I hated that shit. I think that it kills the immersion from the game. I really do. I think that like, okay, well you see somebody that's got a really cool item. And you know that it's just from swiping. You know, all you had to do was swipe to get the item. Who cares? It's just, and it makes it to where, like, the immersion and, like, the willing suspension of disbelief that you have from logging into a fantasy world is then combined with the real world. Because you're seeing real money right there. You're seeing real things right there. You can buy them with, no, the thing is, like, even if you buy them with gold, this is one thing that people don't understand. Somebody, if you buy it with gold, that just means somebody else buys it with real money. So, Blizzard still makes their 25 fucking dollars. Waving, ooh, take my money, boys. <laughs> take my money. <laughs> boys, boys, here you go, take my money. Take my money, oh, quick, quick, give my money. Here, here you go, here you go, here you go. Shadowlands. Everybody's just disappearing, man. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? And this one's really good. They just pull the guy off and put him on it. And look at the other people he's playing with. The tank. Duh. This right here. This is the... This is the 2021 dungeon group of World of Warcraft right here. The healer's not even paying attention. The mage is five years old. The guy there has been playing for 15 years and hates the game. The uh, mage is just probably an idiot. And the tank doesn't even know what aggro is. He's just playing it because he watched Gladiator. And, you know, Maximus had a sword and a shield. So he should do the same thing. A and this is basically what it is right here. Yeah, this is exactly what it fucking is. The booster juice. That mount made me so mad, man. Like, that mount fucking infuriated me. Anybody want to party up? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. WoW Classic was fun. And then there was this. There you go, here's the money. Oh, look at the face on the mounts. Oh, you got me. Hey, you want a store mount? Hey, 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 you want to, you want to get a, you want to get a little store mount? I want to just spend a little $70 real quick. You know what I mean? Like, this is, it's crazy, man. It's absolutely fucking sad. And like, this is probably, I mean, let's be honest, right? This is the saddest fucking part of it. I mean, this is where he's all by himself. Like, this is fucking rough, dude. This is absolutely fucking rough. Like, this is... It, it's sad because the game used to not really be like that. And I know a lot of people don't really get that because the game... You know, it, it's been a long time. But, like, this used to be what it was, used to be, man. And, like, I think to some degree, obviously, you do have the... Uh, the element of it being a, a personal thing, right? This is, like, people want to move on and, and play another game or do something like that. But at the same time, uh, you know, they get older, et cetera. But at the same time, it's not bringing people in. I think that what WoW needs to do is they need to make a new game. 
Like, I'm going to be 100% real. Because it's not... The thing is that store mounts are bad. Like, I, I definitely think store mounts are bad. I, I don't like store mounts. Like, store mounts suck. Like, I, I think it's dumb, etc. Like, you guys know how much I hate store mounts. However, store mounts are not really what's killing the game. If the game was... Every, if everything else in the game was fine, store mounts would not matter. Look at Final Fantasy, for example. Like, store mounts are bad for the game. They make the game worse. I think they create a profit incentive for Blizzard to not make good content for the game and instead make it for the store, and I think that's exactly what's happened. However, that is not the core problem with the game. And here's the reality, though. If Blizzard made WoW 2, what do you think WoW 2 is going to be like? Do you think WoW 2 is going to be like vanilla WoW, or is it going to be more like Shadowlands? I would assume it's going to be a lot more like Shadowlands because that's the game. That that's the yeah, that's the current game. Those are the people that are work the people that are currently working there made Shadowlands. The people that are currently working there made BFA. Those are the people that are actually doing things there. So if we tell them, "Oh yeah, go make a new game." Why would anybody expect that not to be the same thing as Shadowlands or BFA? That's the fucking truth, man. And I think that they need to... Obviously, Shadowlands is not that bad. Like, Shadowlands is decent. It just needs more content and needs it faster. But Shadowlands does have a number of problems, especially with systems and things like that. Uh, of course it fucking does. I think everybody knows that. So let's go ahead. We'll read a few comments for this. And this video obviously was really popular. It got 280,000 views in like a day. So it, show, it goes to show like that there are so many people out there that do really care about this stuff. I think a lot of people have this idea that, oh, well, like nobody gives a shit anymore. Every WoW expansion, people are going to come back and play the game because the experience that they had back then was so meaningful that they don't want to lose it. They, they don't want to lose that great experience that they had. And I think that's the reason why they just keep pushing and keep going. And I think that's the biggest reason. And they really, really want to have that same experience again and again and again. Dang it, Carbot. I came here to laugh, not cry. Yeah, I think a lot of us did. Uh, part where friends start to disappear and move on really hits home. I miss the people that I got to know back then. The good thing is that there are new communities to try and find. Until then, well done, man. Well done. I think that's the case with a lot of people. This video actually made me cry. Uh, I can't stop watching it over and over because of just how much it hits home. I miss how WoW would literally make me feel like I was in another world. All my friends I started adventures with, all the memories I made, uh, grinding for the hours in front of my screen. This hit way too close to home, it sure did. It's actually heart-wrenching. As good as your comedy is, this might be the best thing that you've ever done uh, from how much I could feel it despite knowing what's coming. Yeah, I think so too. Will it be nostalgic or depressing? Carbot, yes, it's about right. Oh, Belly, you made a comment on this. Bravo, fucking bravo. You hit the nail on the head and done so with beauty. I would see so too. Yeah, it's just, uh, it, it's, it's great, man. Yeah, it, it's great. I mean, like, I think this is a great video. I, I, I like it a lot.